is Steve Didier and this is the Mexico Minute. Today uh, the question is can I bring a dog or can I bring a pet to Mexico? Now the answer is yes, you absolutely can. There, there are some limitations. I believe you are limited to three animals and like for me when I came down I brought my dog with me and it was the easiest procedure. One of the main things that you have to do when you're bringing your animal is have your shot records and get a certificate of health from your veterinarian. Now there's, there's a particular form, your veterinarian will know, but there's a particular form they gotta fill out a certificate of health regarding the animal you want to bring into Mexico. And if you're researching online, you're gonna find some discrepancies. There are some websites that will tell you that has to be uh, no more than 10 days old. There are some websites that say it has to be no more than five days old. My advice is always err on the side of caution. So make sure that that certificate of health is dated so it's no more than five days old at the time that you are crossing the border. And this doesn't matter if you're driving across or if you're coming by plane, they're going to be a little bit more stringent when you go to bring your pets on the plane. I can tell you that right now. And I think a lot of times it will kind of end up with the particular individual, whether they enforce a five day or 10 day. So always err on the side of caution. You can't go wrong if that certificate of health is less than five days old. So um, shot records, certificate of health, easy peasy. There's no quarantine period bringing your pets into Mexico, which is really nice. Uh, like I said, I brought, my, I brought my boy Winston here and uh, he is, he's a big, uh, about a 95 pound pit bull. And to share a little personal story with you, when I was driving down, I drove from Las Vegas to Playa del Carmen. And especially in the northern part of Mexico, there's a lot of police checkpoints, a lot of military checkpoints and things like that. And every single time I got stopped at a checkpoint, I never got searched once. I swear to God, I'd pull up and bear in mind, Winston, my boy, he's just, he's a big baby. He's not threatening in the least. I mean, he's a big pit bull, but he doesn't bark. He doesn't growl. He just wags anytime he sees anybody. So every time I would pull up to a checkpoint, there'd be a you know, soldier or policeman stopping. They usually have a clipboard or something. And they'd wave me to a stop. They'd look in and they'd see him. And they would just wave me on through. So actually bringing certain types of dogs into Mexico can actually make your trip that much easier. That's just my experience though. And that obviously doesn't apply when you're um, flying. There's also a couple things with flying. Check with the airlines. There are a lot of airlines, especially when I was in Vegas, I looked at possibly flying Winston down here and there were certain rules like the, the temperature on the runway at the time of boarding the animal couldn't be above, oh man, I think it was, maybe 80 degrees or something like that. And either way, in Las Vegas, in the middle of the day, you're rarely gonna catch temperatures on that. So if they're checking the tar temperature on the tarmac, make sure you're not cutting that close. Check with the airline, whoever, you know, whatever you're flying, wherever you're gonna bring your animal, check with the airline. If they have any weird, or not weird, but have any protocols like that in place, they aren't gonna put your dog on or they aren't gonna put your animals on in the cargo hold. And then you'll be sitting there and, Obviously, if your dog doesn't go, you don't go, and then you're sitting there, you have to go through the hassle of you know, rescheduling your ticket and all that. So keep those things in mind, but you know, it's, it has been a wonderful experience. Playa del Carmen itself is very dog friendly, so I've had a really good experience with my dog in Mexico. So take that, um, make sure you get a certificate of health, less than five days old, and you should be good to go. Now, with me, uh, I spent a lot of time with Winston while walking around Fifth Avenue and Playa is absolutely amazing. And there are some beaches, very few, there are some beaches uh, more on the northern end of Playa that you can actually bring your dog to. So I bring him there and it's a really fun experience playing ball in the ocean and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's really fun. And it's something that I, I couldn't do in Vegas. I, I love it down here in Mexico, I really do. I, I've, it's been my dream to come to Mexico and live abroad for many years. And I was finally able to make that happen uh, because 
a couple of years ago, a little over two years ago, I started learning how to market online. And in, within a couple months, I was actually able to start earning enough money that I could quit my job. And once I was able to do that, well then my dream of living abroad was right there. All I had to do was pick where I wanted to go and make it happen. And I've been to Playa del Carmen in about 2004, so eh, about 10, 11 years ago. It was absolutely amazing. So for me, that was the place to be. But once again, I couldn't have done it if I hadn't had money coming in from marketing online. You know, the internet marketing business is, it can be, it can be kind of uh, a daunting task. If that's something that you're thinking about, you can be like, you know, I don't know if I can do that. But it's like anything else. You, you just do it bit by bit and knock it out. And there's a link below here. If you wanna learn about what I'm doing right now, um, just click on the link below, check out the video. It'll bring you up to speed on one of my income streams. And if you have any questions, feel free to you know, shoot me an email or whatever, you know, message via YouTube. Uh, I will get back to you. But I tell you, it doesn't matter whether you wanna travel or you just want a little extra money, you know, make a car payment or whatever it is. Having a little extra money coming in line or even a lot of extra money is a really good thing. So if you're interested, go ahead, click that link below, send me any questions you have, and we'll talk to you soon.